Hello, my name is Kevin from Moonlight Mantids, and uh, seeing how I got all my nymphs fed from the video you just saw, and I got a lot of work done this week because of the long Memorial Day weekend, I thought I'd head to a park or two and do a little bit of collecting. Uh, it's where you go outside, you know, you just find some cool insects or maybe you spot some cool reptiles just to, to see. Um, and uh, a lot of times, a lot of the uh, insects and, and things we get, uh, they come from outside, so... If you head out sometimes and you, you go collecting or just seeing what you can find, uh, some natural state parks and areas on a beautiful Memorial Day weekend like we have out here in Wisconsin, um, maybe you'll get encouraged and uh, you'll head out and uh, let's see what we can find. I'm going to take you guys with me. I hope you guys enjoy this segment and uh, I'll let you know what I find. All right, wish me luck. Bye. So we've reached the end of the staircase to nowhere, which leads to the Rock River. Bet he's having fun. Oh, looky here. We have a nice little dragonfly. Very awesome. All right. Well, let's see what else we can find. Hey, it's me again from Moonlight Mantids. Uh, just checking here, I'm pulling away some of this uh, bark and I'm finding some really weird and interesting centipedes. I think are kind of neat. Just hey, I'm back just a few minutes here into the woods and I found this really pretty little snail, really dark, dark chocolate shell um, under some of this nice rotten wood here. As you can see, we're in kind of a marshy spot here. And uh, we're gonna keep looking and see if I can't find some more. All right, just a second. Oh, all right. Hi guys. Um, so we went to Loden State Park and a few other places um, in Oregon, Illinois today. Um, and uh, I found some really cool ice pods. There were some cool, uh, like we saw, cave cricket, some dragonflies, just some regular insects. Nothing too impressive or you know shocking. But I did find some really awesome isopods that I collected that I'm going to try to culture, including an orange one, which it seems to look like the other ones that are blue kind of bluish but there happens to be an orange one that I found um, underneath a log with with it and I collected that one too could just be a color morph I'm not really sure I don't know my eye spots that well but uh, I'll, I'll, have, I'll figure it out um, I did find some large um, deceased snails um, along with some other I think they're mesodon species um, which uh, I found today and I went ahead and I'm gonna try to culture those two and I'm gonna show you those real quick hold on All right, here's just a few of the ice pods I found and mixed in with them. You can see a really cool orange one. See, I think they're the same species. They have the same kind of shape and somewhat patterning, except for randomly, there was an orange one in the mix. Kind of shocking. I have orange ice pods, but I've never seen one in the wild before. Um, this could just be a, a color uh, morph or phase or whatever. Uh, I'm really interested to see if I produce any more with the small group that I've collected. Well, uh, I'll have to let you know if I do. I did also find these. I found these dead, these shells, um, under a rotten log. They're pretty big. I wonder if they're ter terrestrial or aquatic. Um, I'll have to try to figure it out. i got to go back to the spot again that I found these at and see if I can't find any live ones. Um, they were around a real marshy area, so they could be both. I'm not sure what they are exactly, um, but I'm going to try to figure it out. See if I can't find any live ones. Next to these, though, I did find some snail eggs. And those are right here. They were right next to these shells here, underneath the same log. Now, they could be uh, eggs from uh, the, the other species that I found. I'm hoping this is a terrestrial species and that these are eggs for them. So I'll let you know when they hatch. Um, just putting them in a uh, container here with a little bit of uh, um, uh, coconut fiber earth. And then uh, just a sealed container, so it holds in moisture. And I'm thinking in about 20-30 uh, days they should hatch. There's about 30 eggs there, so uh, fingers crossed. It's uh, that really nice, beautiful species of snail right here, and it's terrestrial. Um, otherwise, it could be these guys that I found. Uh, I think they're a mesodon species, but I'm not exactly sure. Fairly large snail here. I know these two are the 
the same. There's just one There's a little younger there. I could not find any more. I looked really hard. Um, I did just find these two. And uh, I already got them set up in a nice little container. Gave them some romaine lettuce. And uh, I have a little bit of kettle bone. I'll throw in some uh, powdered multivitamin in there. And I'll give them things like uh, uh, tomatoes and uh, cucumbers and this nice romaine lettuce in a nice sealed container. Not completely sealed because I want ventilation. And I missed my snails about once a, um, once every other day or so. And I'll throw out any of the old uh, food bits there. And then uh, just that's how I keep them. Um, for the ice pots, same thing. I'm just going to put in a little bit of like uh, uh, cork bark. And uh, hope that uh, uh, with a little bit of cocoa fiber and hope that they uh, reproduce and maybe produce more of these cool little orange phase guys right here. And uh, well, that was my trip. Um, let me put this thing back. One second. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Boring. Boring. Whatever. Okay. Well, that was the entire trip. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to get out a little bit um, and do a little collecting, like I do. I do like snails and ice pods, and you know, well, gastropods, snails. You know, same thing. And uh, um, seeing what else I could find. I rarely find mantids. Sometimes I find stick bugs. Um, there's not a lot up here in Wisconsin, but uh, everywhere you go, there is some cool stuff to find. And if you can get out, flip over some logs and some rocks, and uh, maybe you'll find something cool yourself. Um, I'll be going to uh, Florida later this year. Also, I should be heading to Texas as well, where I'm going to do a little bit of mantis collecting. Um, if you guys like this video, I'll make a video of those too. Um, Please, like oh, uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks again. I guess that's it. Bye.